Research has identified that organizations which adopt a portfolio management approach can realize a number of benefits. Firstly, they commit to more of the right programs and projects in terms of greater financial benefits, contributing measurably to strategic objectives and the removal of redundant and duplicate programs and projects. Secondly, Portfolio management enables more effective implementation of programs and projects via management of the project development pipeline, dependencies, and constraints, including resources, skills, infrastructure, change appetite, and so on. It also redirects resources when programs and projects don't deliver or are no longer making a sufficient strategic contribution. This, in turn, ensures more efficient resource utilization. Organizations can also achieve greater benefits realization via active approaches to exploitation of the capacity and capability created across the organization. Benefits realization can be further enhanced by capturing and disseminating lessons learned. Other benefits include enhanced transparency, accountability, and corporate governance. Another is increased engagement and communication between stakeholders, including senior managers, in understanding and meeting organizational needs and expectations, and in communicating strategic objectives and how they'll be achieved. Portfolio management also improves awareness of aggregated risks and brings benefits from senior managers engaging in debate on the contents of the portfolio. Additionally, it improves cross-organizational collaboration in pursuit of shared goals and assurance on consistent and competent program and project management. This reflects the scope of portfolio management as being to ensure not only that the right initiatives are funded and initiated effectively, but also that these programs and projects of change are done in the right way. Finally, in the public sector, there are often examples of ministerial mandates being applied. Similar cases arise in the private sector with regard to CEO-favored projects. This is a fact of organizational life, but in such situations, portfolio management does ensure that the impact of pursuing such initiatives in terms of delaying others is made clear. It also means that the rationale for the investment and why the agreed prioritization processes may have been bypassed are recorded. This often leads managers to ask themselves whether the initiative is such a good idea after all, and what further information and assurance may be required concerning the anticipated benefits and how they might improve achievability. Significantly, portfolio management is relevant in circumstances where cost-cutting as well as revenue growth are the primary strategic imperatives. Next, you'll see an example of this from the real world.